The question is which pair of bulbs will glow brighter, the one in series or the one in parallel? Well, we'll find that out soon, but the more important question I think is why one set would glow brighter than the other. So to answer this question, the first thing we need to understand is that bulbs are nothing but resistors that are glowing. And let me actually go ahead and make them look like resistors. And therefore, if we can find current through each bulb or resistor, we can find the power delivered by using the formula P is equal to I square R. So in the first case, that is when the bulbs are in series, the equivalent resistance is 2 plus 2 or 4 ohms. And we also know that the current in series would be the same across each resistor simply because the charge associated with the current that moves through resistor 1 has no other place but to go through the second resistor as well, making the current same in both. So we go ahead and find that current I in the circuit is equal to V across AC which is EMF of the battery divided by R equivalent that equals 8 volts by 4 ohms or 2 ampere. So the current in the circuit is 2 ampere. Now we also know that the potential difference between A and C will get divided between the two resistances because in series while the current remains the same voltage gets divided in proportion of resistance values and here since each resistor is 2 ohms we can say that VAB is equal to VBC is equal to IR that is 2 ampere into 2 ohms or 4 volts. So you see this 8 volt potential difference has got divided equally between each bulb or resistor. Now we can calculate the power delivered to each bulb as P is equal to I square R that is 2 square into 2 which equals 8 watts. So let me actually write here power in each bulb to avoid any confusion. Well, we could have also used the formula P is equal to VAB square upon R which equals 4 square upon 2 that is 8 watts. So both the formulas for power give the same answer. So the total power delivered is then 2 into 8 that is 8 watts from each bulb which equals 16 watts. Now let us see what is the power delivered by each bulb if they are placed in parallel. So we know that for resistors placed in parallel, the potential difference across each resistor would be the same because you can see that the ends of each resistor here are connected to the same terminal of the battery and therefore same potential. So here you can see these two points are connected to this terminal and here these two points are connected to this terminal and therefore the potential difference is same. So with this understanding we can say that here the potential difference across each bulb is equal to 8 volts. So the current through each bulb would be I is equal to VDE that is the potential across these two points upon R or 8 volts by 2 ohms which equals 4 ampere and therefore the power delivered by each bulb is P is equal to I square R which equals 4 square into 2 or 32 watts and therefore the total power delivered is 32 into 2 that is equal to 64 watts. Well. You may also have noticed that the voltage and current across each bulb has doubled now. Now the interesting thing to observe is that the power delivered in each bulb in parallel is 4 times than it was in series. That is earlier it was 8 watts per bulb but now it is 32 watts per bulb. So the answer to the question which set of two bulbs will shine brighter is that the 
set put in parallel will be brighter and by four times. But I would say that the question that should come to your mind is that if you are given two bulbs, then as a rule, is it not better to put them in parallel than in series because you can get four times the power for the same bulb? Well, it makes sense to put the bulbs in parallel to get more light and therefore more illumination. But you should also remember that the energy consumption will also go up by four times. So if you have a battery and you connect these two bulbs in parallel with that battery, the energy from the battery will get drained four times faster than if you had put these bulbs in series and therefore it is four times costlier to put bulbs in parallel. But then you also get four times the power or illumination. So you should not assume that putting the bulbs in parallel will be any cheaper. Another question that is commonly asked in these kind of problems is that if one of the bulbs in series or in parallel burns out, then will the other bulb continue to glow? So the answer is that if a bulb in series burns out, the current becomes zero because you can see that the charge carriers that make the current have no path to travel to the other side and therefore in absence of current, the other bulb will also not function. However, if one of the bulbs in parallel burns out, the other bulb will continue to function or deliver power because the current will continue flowing through the path in which it is present. So if you want deep clarity on the topic of electricity, that can actually be quite confusing. Do check out all the lessons in this playlist that teaches you the topic step by step.